And a potential strike could impact thousands at GM and Ford plants right here in Northeast Ohio. Our Kai Torque spoke with one worker today. He lives in Parmenau, or he's live in Parmenau, excuse me. Kai Tor, what exactly did this worker tell you about this whole situation? Well, he says that he is feeling pretty anxious, but if they have to go on strike, he's ready to, and he's ready to do so indefinitely. So we spoke with the president of the UAW branch here in Parma, and he tells us that there are two important times tonight. The big one is 11.59 p.m., which is when the UAW will declare a strike if a deal isn't made with the automakers. But the other time that they're anticipating comes before that at 10 p.m., and that's when UAW will be live streaming with local chapter leaders to tell them which plants are going on strike. Short says the strikes may be targeted to certain plants, and he's unsure if their GM operation here in Parma will be chosen. Among their demands from the big three automakers, GM, Ford, and Stellantis, are increased wages, cost of living adjustments, and better work-life balance. We talked to one GM worker who says he's ready for the picket line if things come down to that. Everybody's anxious, you know, and, uh, we have faith in our leadership, so uh, just going to have to wait and see at 10 o'clock tonight when he makes an announcement. I've been preparing personally, so I could stay out as long as it takes, yeah, until we get a fair contract. That was Dan Mansky, who's worked the assembly line for GM for almost three decades. Now, coming up at five, he tells us more about the strenuous hours without much of a pay increase that he's had to endure for the last 27 years. All right, Kaitor K, live in Parma for us. Kaitor, thank you.